In this class, we will discuss about the different type of transmission line. The first type of transmission line which we will be discussing in this class is called as the lossless transmission line. So, the first type which we will be discussing is the lossless transmission line. Now, what do you mean by a lossless transmission line? When any wave is traveling or I can say any voltage is traveling over any line, the loss should be 0. So, let us understand this. Let us say we have a voltage or a, I can say a generator or the source. Let us say this is your load, right. So, let us say this is your load. So, what we are saying is whatever the voltage which is traveling here should not drop or what you can say that the loss should be 0. When I can have a loss 0? If I am applying a V voltage here, okay, at this point there I will have some voltage V plus delta V, right? Because there is a change in voltage because if you have a resistance here there can be a drop, right? So, you, if you do not want any drop or you do not want loss in terms of voltage then your R should be 0, right? So, it means your R should be 0. Again, another way is when the charge get leaked out, right? It nothing but if you do not want your charge to get leaked out, it is nothing but your conductance should be 0. So, what we are saying is for a lossless transmission line or if you want a lossless transmission line, then your R should be 0 and your G should be 0, right? This is the element where the loss actually happens, right? Across the resistor, if you have some voltage, if the voltage flow across the resistor, there would be a drop, right? Which is nothing but your loss, right? So, if you want there should be a 0 loss then R and G should be 0. If R and G should be 0, let us see what would be my propagation constant and characteristic impedance in this case. What we know about the propagation constant? We know gamma is root over R plus J omega L into G plus J omega C, right? Now, if I substitute R0 and G0, what would happen? Gamma would be nothing but J square omega square LC, right? What would be J square? J square would be nothing but minus 1, right? So, this comes out to be J omega root LC, right? Now, what is gamma? Gamma is nothing but propagation constant, right? It is nothing but your alpha plus j beta which comes out to be j omega root over lc. If I compare these two equations, what can I say? Alpha is 0 and beta is equal to omega root over lc, right? Now, if you observe what was alpha? Alpha was your attenuation constant. What was beta? Beta is nothing but your phase constant, right? And it is saying that your alpha is 0, which ultimately comes out to be true, right? Because when you are saying the medium is lossless, then none of the voltage or the signal should get attenuated, right? That is what it is true. So, your, your attenuation is 0, which is true here. And there has to be a phase constant. So, it got phase constant, something omega root over LC. What about the characteristic impedance? Let us see at the characteristic impedance. So, we know that the basic characteristic impedance equation, right? We have already derived the characteristic impedance in the previous videos. It is R plus J omega L divided by G plus J omega C. Substituting R and G is equal to 0, what I will get is nothing but Z naught is equal to root over J omega L by J omega C which is nothing but your root over L by C, right? So, your characteristic impedance in case of a lossless medium comes out to be root over L by C. Now, one more point which we can take away from this is, now let us, uh, let me solve this part to understand something. What I am going to do is, what is beta? Beta is nothing but 2 pi by lambda, right? So, I am going to solve this equation. So, let us continue this equation here. So, the beta which we got as omega root over LC, beta is also equal to 2 pi by lambda, omega is nothing but 2 pi f, 2 pi f root over LC, 
2 pi 2 pi get cancelled right so what I am left is nothing but if I rearrange this equation so what I am left is nothing but taking this over here so it would be f lambda is equal to f lambda would be equal to 1 by root over lc right so just I am taking lambda that side and root over lc this side so it will become like this now one more thing we know that right what is mu mu is nothing but or not mu what is f f is nothing but c by lambda right so it's nothing but f into lambda would be nothing but c right or it's nothing but the velocity right so this is nothing but called as the phase velocity in this case this comes out to be root over lc right now the interesting point to understand here is can i say that if i change the lnc which is nothing but the primary constant of the transmission line it means i can change the phase velocity right but the exact condition is vice versa the exact condition says right the exact condition says if the boundary condition what it says is nothing but it is not only the if you change you cannot change lnc the basic thing is you cannot change lnc what will happen is the boundary whatever the transmission line that itself will determine what will be the value of nlc once that will be determined that itself will determine the velocity the phase velocity right so it is not you who can derive because you cannot you cannot conclude that what would be the value of lnc right so uh, we don't have a control of deciding what will be lnc when you make a transmission line that itself get determined what will be the value of nlc right so there is no control of us saying that what would be the phase velocity so the conclusion over here is the first transmission line which we have studied is the lossless transmission line and we have derived what is the propagation constant which is in terms of alpha and beta and we have also determined what will be the characteristic impedance in case of a lossless transmission line. We will see the different another type of transmission line in the next videos.